everyone. These strawberry jelly cheesecake squares are impressive to look at and are pretty easy to make and would make a very nice Valentine's Day dessert for somebody special. Starting off with the crust ingredients, you'll need one and one quarter cups of graham wafer crumbs. If you can't find graham wafer crumbs or crackers where you live, you could use some simple biscuit like digestive biscuits or a very mild cookie. You'll need one quarter cup of granulated sugar. Stir that into the crumbs and then melt a quarter cup of butter or margarine in the microwave and then pour it into the crumb mixture. Stir it around until it's moistened. Now you're going to line an eight by 10 inch baking dish. It doesn't have to be exactly that, but as long as you have roughly that size, line it with a little bit of plastic wrap. Then put in your crumb mixture and just press it onto the bottom of the pan. Now you'll notice I put some of that mixture in some muffin tins over on the left hand side and I'll show you how those turned out later. In a larger bowl place one envelope, 28 grams or about two and a half teaspoons of unflavored gelatin powder and one cup of boiling water. Then stir that together until the gelatin is dissolved. Now add the cream cheese. That's two eight ounce packages or two 250 gram packages of cream cheese that has been brought to room temperature and two thirds of a cup of sugar, which I forgot to film putting it in, but you can see it in the center of the bowl. And just blend that together with an electric mixer or by hand until the mixture is nice and smooth. You can also add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract at this point if you'd like. Pour it over top of the crust and you just spread it out evenly. Then put that aside and prepare your strawberries. It's better if you can find strawberries that are equal in size and they're a little on the small side. That would be best. Wash and dry them. Remove the green caps and then just slice them in half. Now strawberries already have kind of a heart shape, but what you can do is take a pair of scissors or a knife and just cut out a V shape at the top and just turn it into more of a uniform heart shape. You could also use a heart shaped cookie cutter on these if you have one small enough. I didn't, all my heart shaped cookie cutters were a little bit too big, so I just use a clean pair of kitchen scissors to do the same job. And there is a completed strawberry heart. Now the number of hearts you make will determine the number of servings that you're gonna have because each little heart will be the center of a serving. Now this part is important. Make sure that when you put your strawberry hearts on top of your cream cheese mixture, that you press them firmly into the mixture, not so deeply as to the cream cheese is coming over top of the strawberry and you can't see the heart shape anymore, but firmly enough that it's stuck right in there. Because when you pour that hot jello mixture over top, the strawberries have a tendency to float up if they're not firmly anchored. Then put this in the refrigerator and chill it for at least an hour and a half. And don't skimp on the chilling time because it um, will make the next part of the recipe a lot easier to do. This is a package of strawberry jello or strawberry jelly powder. It's an 85 gram package. And I put it in a mixing bowl and then I added one cup of boiling water. Pour that in and then just stir it around until the gelatin mixture is dissolved. Once dissolved, add a cup of cold water and stir it around a little bit. Then you're going to pour that over top of the cream cheese and strawberry layer that's been chilled. Pour it very gently and You'll notice some of that foam that's on the jello. It does actually, most of the foam dissipates on its own, but you can also take a little spoon and just scoop some of it off if you find there's too much of it. Now there was a strawberry that was floating up, so I had to try to push it back into the cream cheese mixture. And then put that in the refrigerator and let it set completely. Once it's set completely, you can lift it right out of the pan using the edges of the plastic wrap. Now we need to cut it into serving squares. Now, one website where I found this recipe suggested you use dental floss, just plain old dental floss. And what it does is it works very well to cut really straight and nice and clean edges to jello. If you try to use a knife, 
for this and you push down on the knife and then lift the knife back up, you may get some of those graham wafer cracker crumbs contaminating the surface of your jello. The dental floss works great. You just work it all the way down to the bottom and then you just pull on one end and pull the dental floss right out. Just like that. And you have really nice, straight, clean edges and you get one little serving. Now these are the ones I made with the cupcake liners. The paper liners were a bad idea. They got really soggy with the jello, which I guess shouldn't have been a surprise to me. And I found the edges kind of uneven when I took the paper liners off. However, these would have looked really nice in a silicone cupcake liner. So I might try that the next time. Another thing I'm going to suggest to you is that you consume these within a day or so because after a day some of that moisture from the jello and the cream cheese starts to seep into the crumb layer at the bottom and it gets really soggy but it's excellent the same day that you make it and as far as taste goes it's very good the jello goes very well with cream cheese and it's really nice to have a little fresh strawberry in the center the cream cheese layer tastes a lot like cheesecake so there you go, strawberry jelly cheesecake squares, perfect for Valentine's Day. Give them a try.